Sudanese political forces are planning a major protest on Thursday as tensions between the country's powerful military and its civilian prime minister continue to grow. Hundreds gathered outside the presidential palace in Sudan's capital Khartoum on Tuesday, calling for the military to dissolve the government. The country is in the midst of what civilian Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok has called the worst and most dangerous crisis of a two-year transition from autocracy. <laughs> civilian politicians have been ruling in a fragile partnership with the military since President Omar al-Bashir was ousted in 2019. But relations have soured. After Bashir loyalists attempted a coup last month, civilian leaders have accused the military of trying to seize power. The protesters in Khartoum, such as Mohammed Abdel Kader, accuse civilian political parties of mismanagement and monopolizing power. We are sitting here with our tents, our pots, our animals and our meat. We are sitting here until Hamdok finds us a solution. Either he leaves or his cabinet leaves or the story ends. We are staying here and just like we removed 30 years of rule, we will remove two years of rule. The crowds have been assembled by a coalition of rebel groups and political parties who have aligned themselves with the military. After an emergency meeting on Monday, Sudan's cabinet said a crisis unit was being formed with the aim of bringing all sides together to find a solution. Pro-civilian political parties are planning their own demonstration on Thursday, the anniversary of a 1964 revolution. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.